Hi, in today's video we're going to take a look at how to change instruments in MuseScore. So to begin with, we're looking at the MuseScore website and I have uh, done a search here for Thunder Road. So the sheet music that I'm interested in here, in here is my someone called Spana Papa. So Spana Papa's version, we're going to use it. And we'll go over here to MuseScore. This actually shows uh, what how it looks after I have downloaded it. So you see um, there's a lead sheet here. The reason I opted for a lead sheet is it has not just guitar chords, but it has the harmonica part written in uh, and it has the singing melody with the lyrics included. So one of the first things I did when I downloaded this is I wanted to, of course, to hear it. So not bad, nice harmonica sound. But, <laughs> let's just move ahead to this measure and play some more. Listen to the melody. So again, the notes are fine, but I'm not a big fan of the sound. I I think it's a choir Oz type of a sound. I'm more old school. I would rather just hear a piano. So the way that I change that is I hit the view window, the view menu up at the top, and I click on mixer. Now what we see at the right side of the screen is our mixer uh, settings. And you can see there are three actually tracks that he's recorded. He's got the harmonica part, a melody part, and also a sound for the for the guitar chords. So what I want to do here is come up here to sound and I want to change that. As I said, I it's a little bit easier for me to just hear the melody as a piano. Um, and here I'm going to change this. I believe stemme is not an English word, so I'm going to change that to melody and press enter. Okay, so now when we play it, we'll start right here again. Start right here right again, our play. Okay. So now we hear the melody notes using the piano sound. And again, for me, I'm learning this song. It's just a little bit easier to hear. Hi, thanks for hanging out with me today. I've got a free gift for you. So make sure you either click the link in the description or click that little banner in the top of the screen. Um, while we're in here, I thought I'd go ahead and show you a few more things. I'm going to go ahead and close the mixer window. We're done with the mixer. We got our sound much uh, more to my liking anyway. I'm going to move this out of the way. And the next thing I want to do is show you uh, another way that you can move around the score. If we go to View Navigator. Okay, so what happened? Down here in the bottom left, we see each of the page numbers, one, two, three, four, five, corresponding to the five pages in the score. So what's nice about this is if I click on four, I essentially see the last three, um, the last three pages. Now what we can do here try to get the whole page. All right, a little bit smaller here, but we just changed the setting to page view. So again, this shows you our navigator and how it's a little bit faster to move around using that. Okay. Um, also, 
another thing to show you while I'm in here is you notice we don't have our palettes displayed, especially if you want to do editing. So here is out of the box what happens. As you can see, it covers up our score. We can pull, we can just drag that out of the way. In fact, I'll make it a little easier by going, yeah, now it's much, much, much out of the way, isn't it? So we'll pull that back over here just a little bit. Okay, so there's our page again. Now, what I wanted to show you was the palettes. If you would like access to the top of the screen where you can see the title and the note entry and the various values of the notes, you're going to have to remember that uh, your navigator down here got covered up. So just a reminder, you'll want to keep your eye on that and drag that out of the way. Or you can come up here and, um, and close it. The other thing I wanted to show you about palettes while we're in here is that I have a little box right here. Uh, and this little three dots gives me an option to only open one palette at a time. And that may seem like a simple thing, but the reason I like to only open one palette at a time, well, let me just show you. Let's say, here, here's, here's what this can begin to look like if you're not careful. And it's not uncommon when you're editing to have several of these open pretty soon. It's easy to lose your place. It's easy to kind of get distracted from what you're doing. So the easiest way to fix that Let's come up here and just check that little mark. And then when you close these, you're only going to have one open at a time. They won't all do that. So let's see. Yep. Okay, now, see, watch, I'll show you. We open the bar lines. When I go down here to open the text, the bar lines closes. Again, just something that's helpful. Um, Okay, the last thing I want to do is I found a lyric in here that is incorrect. So I'm going to go ahead and close the palettes. Now the lyric I found is incorrect is right here. So what I want to do just to make this a little bit easier to work on is I'm going to zoom in here and drag this over. I'm going to go up to my line where I Okay, right here, alone, I uh, I think I've already fixed this. This used to be incorrect, and on a previous take of this video, this actually said that L was an H. So I fixed that. Let me just show you what I did. Control L to get our, our lyrics. Okay, so now you see that I can edit this. I'm going to drag it up just a little bit easier to see. Okay, everything in blue here is what can be edited. So I'm going to delete this. When I got this score, this actually had the word home, a home again. Well, that doesn't mean what I think was intended to be meant there. So I thought, okay, let's fix that lyric. And here's what I did. Uh, Control L on a Windows computer, uh, Command L on a Mac. First thing I have to do, it, good reminder, you have to mark what you're trying to edit. Okay, so I'm trying to edit that. So now, okay, I can go right here. All right, here's, here's where I'm editing. So home is not correct. Alone would be correct. So I've done it like so. Now the lyric is fine. I go up here and I save. So we just added some lyrics. And I'll go ahead and adjust my zoom back to 100% so we can look at the whole project. Um, so thanks for joining me today. 
again, the whole point of this video was to show you how to change instruments, especially when you download a new score and you're playing through it for the first time to learn the different parts. Um, view, just to review, view mixer is what you want to do. And then over here is where you can make your changes with sound.